Hey everyone, this is Vishwanath Pratap Singh. Welcome to my channel. And today we will be discussing about a very good problem, and that is based on the greedy implementation. And this is a special type of problem. The name of the problem is taxi. Here you can see, and this is our statement. You can read this statement to the provided link. Okay, that is I have provided this link in the description. Okay, so. Now I will just explain that uh, how, what is this problem is, and then we will move, move to the solution. Okay, so actually what we have to do in this problem is that we firstly have to take an input, okay, some integer n, okay, then we have to in take also another uh, another n inputs from the user, and in those inputs are not greater than four, and they are not less than. One. It means that those integers are not uh, greater than. It means, for example, we are entering one, two, three, five. Okay, so five will not be considered here. Okay, we don't have to enter the numbers more than which are greater than five. Okay, and uh, which are also less than five. So here we cannot enter zero and greater than four. Okay, then what we have to do this problem that we have to that these. These number of these are these inputs are like the children who are friends. Okay, according when you will read this problem, so you will get to know that what this problem actually is. So in this every there is a group of children. In every input there is a group of children who want to go with by themselves. I mean they wanted to. For example, we are four friends and we are we wanted to go together in a cab. Okay, or in a taxi. So we will. I mean that yes, we want because we wanted to go, so we have to book a car with in which we have to go. Okay, and in that car there cannot be more than four students. Okay, it means if there are three students, so that's okay. But there should not be more than four. Okay, if there are two, then it is okay. If there are one, then it is okay. So in this problem, that uh, if we, There is a vacant place for some children who want to go. For example, there is a, a two. There is a two. Okay. There is a, another group in which there is a two people. Okay. So they can join with the two, but the sum of the total, sum total of that group should not be greater than four. Okay. That could be equal to four, but that cannot be greater than four. For example, if This one student is here, and this students can join three, can join two also, and can join this three also. But it, this one cannot join the four. Okay, so this is our problem, and then we have what we have to do. We have to count the number of taxis which are required to send these students to, for example, to some picnic or polycarpus. Actually, they have to uh, send. They are sent to the polycarpus. So we have to count the number of taxis. Okay. So for counting number of taxis, there is a formula. I will discuss about it after that. Okay. So here, there, here you can see that you can read all this problem. Okay. So I have actually I have already made the solution. So you can see here actually. Okay. So this is our solution. So I will just explain it. So this is our header file iostream. Dot it. Ah, sorry, no, normal iostream. Then using namespace std, then I have defined here a function. Uh, this actually this is a simple function. This function is about to print to send to return the maximum of the two numbers. Okay, there here you can see if uh, there is a uh, some input a and b. If a is greater than b, then we will return a, and if it is not greater than b, so simply it will return b. Okay. Then here is our main function. And in the main function, first we have to enter size. So you can also take here n as mentioned in the problem. Okay. So you can input the size, and then what do we have to do? We have to take some variables a, b, c, and d to store the numbers one, two, three, four. Okay. One for a. I mean a for one, b for two, and c for three, and d for four. And here enter is for inputting all the numbers. Okay, then here I have used the loop for it. Okay, then what I have done here, A is used for counting the number. How many number are here? Here, 
which are equal to one. Okay. For example, if I have inputted five numbers, which are uh, and all of them are four. I, I mean, sorry, all of them are one. Okay. I have inputted five numbers, and all of them are what? For example, I have inputted five numbers, and those are sorry. And what is this? Man? And all of them are one comma space one 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 one. Okay, all of them are one. So they so what will a store? A will store the five. A will store five. If there are num, if there are five numbers of one, so it will simply count them and store in the a. Okay. So this is that's why we are using the these variables. A, B, C, and D. A for one, B for two, and C for three, and D for four. So for storing like this, we have to use some kind of loop. Uh, I mean, we can we have to use some kind of conditions. Okay. So using this for loop, I int i is equal to zero. I should be less than size i plus plus, and then in say in enter. So it will work. It will run for the n times. Okay. It will run for n times. So its complexity will be a o of n. Okay, its time complexity will be is O of n. Okay, that is O of n, and then after entering a single first number, we have firstly check that whether that number is equal to one. If it is equal to one. Then we will increment the a because here a is equal to zero if that number is one, so it will simply increment. Else if, then if it is equal to two, then b plus plus. If and if it is equal to three, so c plus plus. And if here you can also use if statement. Else if if that number is equal to four, so you can use that. So if if a user will enter some invalid number, so it will not consider that. Okay, or you simply can take. It the d i mean or only a else statement and then you can use this d plus plus after that so now we are having the all number we have calculated the number of 1 2 and 3 okay so now what we have to do this is our main formula okay and in this formula what we are doing firstly we are taking the 4 okay firstly we are because 4 is not going to be There, if there are four number of people or students or children, so we are not required to. I, I mean, if it, there are four number of students in a cab, so they can be fitted in a cab. So we will simply print the number of how many number of four students are there. I mean, how many number of groups are there, which is which are having the four students. Okay, so we will simply plus them, and there is a plus three. Okay. So because three is here, because there are only and only one student is left in. Okay, if there are, if they can combine the one student here, so they can easily combine it. Okay, then after that there is a b into t plus plus b into t b into two. Okay, so here we are just calculating the how many two students are there. I mean, there b is the number of groups. In which two students are there, and by multiplying it two, we can get the actual number of students. How many are they? And then we are adding the maximum number of zero comma a minus c. It means if by adding because firstly we have to add as many as possible students can be added or can be grouped in as three and one. For example, if I have combined the n number of k number of i mean three number of students in three three students which are which who wanted to go alone come with the three students who go who, who wanted to go with i mean who, who are in three groups which are having three three students so those those one students who those three students can be added in all these three groups okay so it will become four okay Then simply there is a plus three, and that is whole divided by four. Okay, this whole one is divided by four. So here by this we can 
simply get the number of taxis okay this is a little bit complicated if you will actually if you will print in some i mean if you will you will trace this so you will easily get the answer that why this formula is used actually here okay so this is a uh, this was our solution and if you wanted to check this so if here we are having some kind of inputs okay so here we are having this input so we can simply use it so 5 then 1 space 2 space 4 space 3 space 3 okay then answer is 4 here you can see the answer is 4 and if I am using this so here I have used it okay. then enter yeah you can see here that there it is also giving the number correct correct number of taxis okay so this was the solution and you will get the link of this solution here from my github okay I will provide you the link and this is the problem statement and can get it okay the whole problem so thank you dear friends for watching this video and here you can also actually submit the problem and you can get the submitted reply and if it is accepted so please tell me about this okay so thank you friends thank you for watching this video